Hey, it's Rod Thorson, Classic Hits 103.9 WLPO on May 1st. It's May Day. Now, some people use May Day as kind of a day of labor celebration. Some days it's for the, uh, you know, people who like Stalin. Other times it's people who uh, want to dance around the Maypole. Uh, and in other cases, you know, a May Day is just uh, May baskets. When I grew up, my mother, all six of us Thorson kids, would take construction paper, make a cone, staple a little handle to it, We'd go out and grab handfuls of flowers or weeds or whatever it was on the farm, and we would take them to our grandparents, our grandmothers. And we'd ring the bell, you know, and you're supposed to ring the bell and leave, but we never did. We'd just stick around and bring our May baskets to grandma. It was a sweet thing. I'm glad my mom encouraged us to do that. It's a one of those things that, you know, we get real busy, and some of these older traditions can fall by the wayside. But, you know, when you think about what that does for somebody, in favor of continuing it so if you have kids or grandkids or maybe even as an adult if you know somebody an older woman who would certainly appreciate or even an older guy who would appreciate a visit if nothing else it's just a reason to visit and to look in on somebody so if you got the opportunity today no matter what kind of basket it is just fill it up with some dandelions or some ground flowers or something like that and celebrate May Day with a May basket. I think it'll make somebody's day and maybe even make yours. Uh, and uh, if nothing else, it's just a way to remember those days gone by where you did something sweet for grandma. You remember you didn't think about your grandmother and May baskets. Just a reminder on May 1st, back tomorrow with another go around of news, weather, and sports in the morning. Hopefully you can join us then. I'm Rod Thorson. Classic Hits 1039 WLPO.